Charles Darwin was an English naturalist and biologist who is best known for his theory of evolution by natural selection, which explains how species change over time through the process of adapting to their environments. Darwin was born in 1809 and grew up in England. He studied medicine and theology at the University of Edinburgh, but eventually dropped out and decided to pursue a career in natural science. In 1831, he was invited to serve as a naturalist on a scientific expedition aboard the HMS Beagle, which set out on a journey around the world. During the voyage, Darwin visited many different countries and islands, including South America, Australia, and the Galapagos Islands. It was on the Galapagos Islands that Darwin made many of the observations that would later form the basis of his theory of evolution. He noticed that the plants and animals on the island were slightly different from those on the mainland, and he realized that these differences were due to the fact that the species had adapted to their particular environments over time. After returning to England, Darwin spent many years studying and writing about his observations and ideas. In 1859, he published a book called On the Origin of Species, which outlined his theory of evolution by natural selection. The book was met with both acclaim and controversy, and it remains one of the most influential works in the field of biology to this day. Darwin died in 1882, but his work has continued to shape our understanding of the natural world and has had a significant impact on the field of science. Charles Darwin was born in 1809 in Shrewsbury, England, to a wealthy and influential family. His father was a successful doctor, and his mother died when he was young. As a child, Darwin was not particularly interested in his studies and struggled in school. He was sent to study medicine at the University of Edinburgh, but he did not enjoy it and eventually dropped out. In 1831, Darwin was invited to serve as a naturalist on a scientific expedition aboard the HMS Beagle, which set out on a journey around the world. This trip would have a significant impact on his life and career. After returning to England, Darwin married his cousin, Emma Wedgwood, and the couple had ten children together. They lived in a large house in London, where Darwin spent much of his time studying and writing. In his personal life, Darwin was known to be a kind and compassionate man. He was deeply concerned about social and political issues, and he was actively involved in various charitable organizations. Darwin died in 1882 at the age of 73 after a long illness. Despite the controversy that surrounded his work, he is remembered as one of the most influential scientists in history and his contributions to the field of biology continue to be recognized and celebrated today. Charles Darwin was born into a wealthy and influential family in 1809 in Shrewsbury, England. His father, Robert Darwin, was a successful doctor, and his mother, Susanna Darwin, died when Charles was young. Darwin had several siblings, including an older sister named Caroline and a younger brother named Erasmus. He also had a half-brother and half-sister from his father's previous marriage. In 1831, Darwin married his cousin, Emma Wedgwood, and the couple had ten children together. Their children's names were William, Anne, Mary, Henrietta, George, Elizabeth, Francis, Leonard, Horace, and Charles Waring. Darwin was known to be a devoted husband and father, and he took an active interest in the education and well-being of his children. He and his wife raised their children in a large house in London, where they provided a loving and supportive environment. Charles Darwin died on April 19, 1882, at the age of 73, after a long illness. The exact cause of his death is not known, but it is believed that he may have had a heart attack or stroke. Darwin had been in poor health for many years, and he suffered from a number of ailments, including heart problems, stomach issues, and chronic fatigue. Despite his health problems, he remained active and productive until the end of his life, continuing to work on his scientific research and writing. 
Darwin's death was widely mourned, and he was remembered as one of the greatest scientists in history. His contributions to the field of biology, particularly his theory of evolution by natural selection, have had a lasting impact and continue to be recognized and celebrated today.